Hi, and welcome to School at Home, aka Homeschool. Today, we will be doing a science experiment on how chemical reactions can either be exothermic or endothermic. Exothermic means that they release heat. Endothermic means that they absorb heat. Here are your materials. You will need one tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of citric acid, a cup of room temperature water, and a thermometer. Let's get started. Welcome to the kitchen. Here, we will be performing the experiment. First, we're gonna take the temperature of our water. Okay, my water is 71 degrees. I'm going to write that down. Okay, now we're going to add the baking soda. And look out, here comes the citric acid. Now you're gonna take the temperature every 20 seconds and you're gonna record that on your sheet. Mine is 60 degrees. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, now I'm gonna keep going for round two. Okay, now mine is 58 degrees, which I'm gonna write down. And now we're gonna do it last time. Mine is 52 degrees, which I'm also going to write down. All right, your experiment should have been dropping at least 10 degrees. Now, this is an endothermic experiment because it is decreasing in heat, which was really cool. Another example for exothermic heats would be fire because fire is releasing heat. Endothermic examples would be like ice. Ice is cooling down its surroundings and taking in the heat and melting. Thanks for watching. Bye.